Alright, good morning guys. It is Monday, October 14th, and it is 7.46 in the morning. So, it's still October. That means that I'm still looking for those to help donate for Barbells for Boobs. I've mentioned that before. I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into what Barbells for Boobs is. Now, I'm a CrossFitter, and I have been for the last seven years. And what Barbells for Boobs is, is a company formed out of CrossFit, which means those who run it do CrossFit or are coaches of CrossFit, things of that nature. And what statistics have shown is those who work out before uh, anything, really, before breast cancer, before pregnancy, and who continue to do so during their treatments or during their pregnancy or whatever it is, have a better outcome in what is going on and that's kind of what happened to me being a personal trainer and an army veteran helped because when i went from a simple lumpectomy to a double mastectomy because my cancer started to spread in my breasts being the fact that i was working out all the time and eating right helped so my pec muscles were super strong to begin with, uh, I was originally a B cup, and then, you know, working out all the time and working chest and working back, I increased my size of my pec muscles from a B to a C. So when I saw the plastic surgeon, I was sitting at a 34 C, and that helped because what I wanted to do after surgery was to get back to my life, to get back to my clients, and during the process of recovery for that whole month was probably the hardest thing for me not only physically but mentally because i am diagnosed with ptsd from the army and statistics again show that working out and releasing the endorphins in the brain help counteract those thoughts those feelings and that's why i pride myself on not taking medication ever for this issue but back to why i mentioned barbells for boobs because a company like that who one is all about helping those through their process crossfit in itself is a general community i mean I can go to a different box or what we call a gym in any city, in any state, probably in any country in the world and drop in or show up to the gym and work out and form friendship with those inside that gym. No matter what I'm working on, they're going to be there to help me and that's what Barbells for Boobs is. It raises money to help those going through this process. There is uh, teaching courses on how to help those go through the process when it comes to stretching mobility because breast cancer in itself does not just affect the pecs, it affects the back, it affects the shoulders. I personally wake up every morning super tight also in where they took my lymph node so now you gotta worry about lymphedema some people get it some people don't i've been lucky enough knock on wood not to have it but i still get super sore and super tight and barbells for boobs is one of those companies that raises the money for one awareness two for research and testing and three just to help those who may not have the funds to go through this process and so youtube has been a platform where in the past i've raised money for a cause and that's what i'm asking here today as well i'm actually in my place of work i'm still a personal trainer and i actually work at crunch in new jersey and they are allowing me to one use my platform as a personal trainer here in the gym to uh, spread awareness, spread knowledge, and, you know, give my expertise as a trainer to not only help members who are going through it, but to kind of bridge a gap between 
those who just take a normal gym class such as Zumba or I don't know, cardio hit class and use that to kind of segue into personal training because the knowledge I have not only as a trainer but as a medical assistant combat medic with my background in medical and medicine it, I kind of help in all other areas besides breast cancer. The other reason why they're allowing me to do it is I'm 37 years old. I was diagnosed at the age of 34, two weeks before my 35th birthday. Saturday was my two year cancer free anniversary. And so Barbells for Boobs has been a company that I've donated to in the past and I've been raising money for now for the last two years. And a company like this is near and dear to my heart. We have Susan G. Komen and we have uh, breastcancer.org and keepabreast.org and we got all these other companies that have been established and been around for years. Barbells for Boots has not been around for that long as some of these other companies and I want to kind of make them more well known, not just in the CrossFit community or the fitness community, but in the community in general. Um, their mission is to help others. Actually, I'm going to pull up their mission statement right now just so you can see it. Because I find what they do amazing. So I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to bring you on my journey over here. So, Barbells for Boobs. Our campaigners have done some pretty amazing things to improve quality of life post-diagnosis. Post uh, let me get out of this. Post-diagnosis, and they are thinking of new things to do every day. So, let's go to their mission statement, because this is what I really like. So, they provide education on the significant benefits of fitness and support to access responsible and safe fitness instruction for those directly impacted by breast cancer. Engaging in constant physical activity has been proven an effective intervention to reduce breast cancer risk, reduce the prevalence and severity of adverse effects during breast cancer treatment, and reduce post-treatment related risk of Recurrence, breast cancer, mortality, and morality. And if you look at all these other companies that are with them, you got Ramwad, which is range of motion, Wad of the day. You got RP, which is renaissance periodization. You got Born Primitive, Passion Planner, Elikio Raise the Bar, which is a um, barbell. You got Yeti. You got Zevia. RX bar, RXSG, <laughs> this little dude down here is actually pretty cool with the little breast cancer. I don't know what this one is, and then you got junk. And so, you can see just by looking at this, just what they are and who they are, and it's something near to my, dear to my heart, and what I'm asking for is for every dollar donated, I will do a push-up. I'll even go further into it by doing a burpee as well. So right now, I have about $10 sitting on my campaign, and I want to get to my 2000 goal. Right Again, it is October 14th, so we got about two weeks left. If you don't do it for me, do it for someone else who needs your help. If you have ever had breast cancer or a family member who's had breast cancer, you can understand how relentless this type of cancer is. And to be honest, if I didn't check myself, if I didn't fight for my first mammogram earlier than what the state age of 40 is, I probably wouldn't be here today. Earlier I mentioned it was a, I was a military vet. My breast cancer is related to my deployment to Iraq. I was tested negative for the BRCA gene, both 1 and 2. So, get yourself tested and 
Fight. Fight. Fight.